And this is uh, the new tech modem. It's GUI. And uh, as we can see, we have a receive path. It's synchronized, which means it is receiving the correct information from the hub through the satellite. But there's a transmit error. Uh, well, of course there is because we don't have the buck. The buck is the transmitter. And that's what we're going to do right now. Now that we're on the correct satellite and that's been verified and we're associated with it, we are we're gonna go out but first things first we have to put this sign up here because we are dealing with some dangerous stuff right now <laughs> that's uh 50 watts of 14 gigahertz microwave energy that will be coming out of that antenna and there we go the uh, transmitter is powered up and uh, the lights on the modem, that red light, caution light, that will turn off. We should get uh, three blue lights when it's properly associated. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna go back inside and we'll look at what the computer says. Now my computer is actually connected to this orange cable, which runs over here. And I have, very conveniently, my C-band antenna. I just jacked into uh, a network cable here, which brings my network connection into the house. And from there, I can plug in my laptop, work from inside the house, so convenient. So yeah, let's see what the modem is saying. It's still trying to associate. And uh, when hell goes well, we'll make a phone call with that telephone. I'm actually going to phone it. And yeah, that is going to be going over a satellite that is 36,000 kilometers away out in space. That's 22,300 miles. So the round trip of my phone call will be 44,600 miles. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Okay guys, we got three greens. We are operational over a satellite right now on our own channel, and uh, but it's only a 32 kilobit connection. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you. It's my cat's website. Kind of reminds me of the dial-up days. <laughs> Look at how slow things are loading. Yeah, here we go. Wow. Anyways. The idea here is not to surf the internet. We don't have high speed, but uh, let's go make a phone call. Let's see if that works. 32 kilobits is enough for a phone call. Now keep in mind, you do not want to walk in front of that antenna. That's why we have this sign here. If I come down here and let's take a look at the VoIP adapter, you can see we have all okay green lights that's good and all blue over here and i will get out a telephone here and let's call Oh, something's gone wrong. It's the... Oh! Huh. Can you believe it? It took a little while, but we're calling. 
and I actually hung up, but okay, there, yeah. Took a little while to figure out. Oh, it's still ringing, okay. <laughs> That's great, I love it. Okay, it finally stopped. I'm gonna call it again. It just it just takes a really long time. Oh, let's well ring in again. Seems like it's stuck or something. Okay. Anyways, there you go, guys. <laughs> the most complex system for making a telephone call. All right. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna try that one more time. Let's do a redial on the phone here. Let's see how long this takes to go through. Oh wow, that went through much quicker. Listen to that, it's actually working. Okay, I'm gonna answer the call. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hello, I'm talking over a satellite. Sounds like shit, but it works. 32 kilobits going 44,600 miles. Wow, I love the delay. This is so cool. Okay, guys. Signing off from my YouTube channel. This is really, really cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Check it out. Okay, guys. Take it easy. Hello? 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 Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. We are talking over the satellite. We are talking over the satellite. Okay, I will call you back. Okay, so there we go. I've attached the flexible waveguide piece. And uh, as you can see now, we can do ski rotation and uh, the other thing, and I've seen this done, is not to actually do it that way. Like the other system that I was showing the other day, it has a long flexible waveguide. You could actually just bring that right up and plug it in here. So yeah, a couple different ways uh, of how to use this antenna. It, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool antenna. I love it.
So what I'm doing right now is I'm um, trying to aim the dish and uh, I've got it uh, tuned in to AR Sat 2, 81 degrees west, and I'm manually aiming it. And this is how you do it, guys. You just basically start moving it, tilting it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm slowly moving it forward. And then, oh, you hear that? You see? I'm getting close. And, yeah, you see it turns green, the little line there. I'm going to hit the right signal. And then what I'm going to do is clamp that down, and it'll be locked on that satellite. And then I'm going to bring out a spectrum analyzer, and we can peek it to make sure it's bang on the satellite. And, uh, yeah, we're also going to play with the skew. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We got her all set up. And uh, I'll just give you a quick run through here. The LNB wires to the LNB or the receive input and the transmit, the blue wire runs over to the input to the, the transmitter, the buck, which is converting the L-band signal, which is in the thousand megahertz range. And it amplifies it and boosts it, uh, the frequency up to around 14 gigahertz and the yellow cable is the power cable and that runs to the control console here and we are going to turn the power on and let's see we got any lights yep i see a modem light coming on there so the modem is booting up and what we're going to do next is oh i love this red switch oh, that looks really dangerous that's the transmitter and we're going to turn it on Oh, there it goes. The famous uh, vacuum cleaner sound. So we're gonna let it do its thing right now. It takes a few minutes to connect. And uh, we'll see if we get an internet connection. I'm gonna actually next jack into the ethernet ports on this thing and see if we can get uh, an internet connection. And then we might turn on that phone adapter and make another call over the, uh, the ET phone. And if all goes well, tomorrow I'll get the other system back. I'll set that one up over here, and we'll have a, a shootout between the two systems. It's going to be cool, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're operational there. Three blue lights, the analog, telephone adapter. Hard to see, but we got green lights, so we have telephone lines up and running. Um, I'm going to make a call. Let's call, I'm plugged in a line one, and we got the famous uh, telephone here. We are going to call, let's see, what is it? Six, four, seven, eight, one, two, eight, seven, zero, one. Let's do it, guys. Okay, I'm pressing uh, speakerphone. We're gonna dial. Is that gonna go through? Oh, it went through! Took a while. Wow, it sounds weird. That ring back sounds really weird. Hello? 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 <laughs> okay. We got the same weird Turn that volume up. Testing, one, two, three. We're talking over a satellite. A new satellite system. Yeah, we got a new one here. We got an old, uh, actually an old new one. This is uh, a North Star News Link system. It used to be used by a lot of different uh, TV news organizations. Anyways, we're going to actually do one little trick before I go. We're going to change the voice codec on that ATA and see if we can get really clear sound. We're going to change from the G711U to a G729. Okay, guys. <laughs> 
Okay guys, now we've changed over to a lower uh, bitrate codec. We're using the G729 and that needs only 8 kilobits. We have 32 kilobits on our connection here. So let's let's do a test, uh, see if it still sounds like Robo Voice or does it sound good? So let's do that test now. I've got uh, the telephone out here and we're gonna do a, a redial here. Let's start her up. Well, that went through uh, pretty good. Let's uh, pick up the phone here and Hello? 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 Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Well, that sounds a lot better. Well, that sounds a lot better. Yeah. 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 Yep, sounds a lot better. Yep, sounds a lot better. That certainly works. That certainly yep. works. Yep. So that just goes to show you. So that just goes to show you. You phone guys out there that you suggested I that change that the codec. I change the codec. We're right. It does work. Right. It does work. And we could probably make, actually, yeah, probably with, make this codec, with this codec, well, we could probably do four phone calls simultaneously over phone this phone connection, phone which is really cool. This which is really cool. That's very, uh, very That's cool. Very, uh, okay, guys. Okay, so, guys. We so, still, we still, we still have the delay. Because it's still delay. going 44,600 miles. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, we will do this again, we will do this again. with the other satellite system. The other and that's going to be really cool. System. It's going to double the really delay. Cool. Gonna We're going to do what's known as a double pump up to the satellite and back, and then up to the satellite and back again. Okay, guys. Have a good one. And I put that there for the birds. So they know. <laughs> We're gonna do something really cool. I've never seen anybody do anything like this before. We're gonna use two VSAT terminals at the exact same time, and we're gonna make a phone call from one to the other. They're right next to each other, but the trip is gonna be close to 90,000 miles. We're gonna go from one antenna up to a satellite way out in space, 22,300 miles out in space, return to Earth, but we're going to come down in Argentina to a teleport, which is going to basically reroute the call back up to another satellite, and we're going to come back down on the other antenna. As I said, total trip, we're going to be doing about 90,000 miles. The delay is going to be interesting um, compared to what we had before. So stick around, guys. This should be interesting. So a little rundown of what we got going on here. Uh, both of these equipment racks, one is running the Norsat, the other one is running the Seacom antenna. Um, as you see, they look almost identical, and actually they pretty much are. Each one is equipped with a Newtek news media modem um, and an analog telephone adapter with two lines um, and network ports. So those network ports over here would be used for the news crews, uh, internet equipment, and also for their streaming video encoder. And I actually have one, and I'll show you what that's all about. We uh, do not have the bandwidth to actually stream video at five megabits per second, which is what they would be using. But we have enough bandwidth uh, to make a phone call, and we're gonna do that. And uh, something really interesting I got here that came with this kit. This is uh, the audio box and it does connect with a phone line. And uh, basically, on the side here, you've got uh, an XLR here. This is return audio from the phone line. That is going to the reporter's earpiece so he can hear the newsroom and get updates. They call that the IFB. On the right, we have <clears throat> two different mic inputs. Uh, if there's two reporters maybe talking to each other or they're interviewing somebody, uh, two mics might be used. So, and to make the call, obviously there is a dial. There is also an intercom on here, a speakerphone, which is really cool too. Um, this again is for the crew to be able to talk back to the station. And uh, on the side here, 
is the mixer. Different, uh, allows them to do different levels. So, and there's also a telephone handset if you want to talk just like it's a regular telephone. Um, typically, yeah, they use two lines. One is for this box, and the other one, they may plug a, tel a second telephone set in uh, for communications. So basically, there you go, guys. That's how that works. And uh, we're going to take some signal levels next. Okay, guys, the system is idle. It's got GPS acquisition. Now we're going to go for satellite acquisition. And we're going to do it. The push of a button here. There we go. Bang on, look at that. All automatic. Automatic satellite acquisition. We are now ready. This is great. <laughs> Man, that took like a minute. Not even a minute. This thing took me like a half an hour to aim. So there you go, guys. How cool is that? Okay guys, we are all set up. We are aimed, both antennas are aimed. We checked with the meter. And uh, the next thing to do is let's fire up the transmitters. So we're just gonna make our way over to the equipment rack. And uh, first we're gonna turn on that. Oh, we gotta turn on both switches. Power, let's uh, power up these switches here and this puck as well. Well, let's know that guys. Two of them going at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, give it a couple of minutes for these modems to log in to the New Tech Dialog Hub and become operational. And uh, then we should be good. And then we're going to make some phone calls. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are up and ready and operational on the satellite, on both satellites. And we're just going to take a quick look at uh, what we got here. This uh, orange box looks real dangerous. Let's open her up and see what this piece of equipment does. And oh, we have another telephone. This is the second telephone. And this is, yeah, this is for the crew. Call the newsroom. Okay. We might just actually use that, that's so funny. Okay, we got uh, three blue lights there, three blue lights there. We can see we have green lights. Uh, all the lines are linked up. Let's, uh, you guys can hear that, I got a dial tone. So let's call, let's call Lava Life. Four, one, six. Five five six six. I always use this for testing phone lines. Let's see if they answer. Mm, call did not go through his dial. Let's try it again. Oh, it's ringing. <laughs> Lava life. Yeah, I'm a male caller. I'll press one. There we go. Sounds really weird. Later, 
Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hang up. We're gonna hang up on her. We don't like her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. It's too noisy out here. I'm gonna let's wire this into the house. Stand by. Okay, guys, we are all set up and we are ready here. So let's just take a quick rundown. We've got uh, the white antenna here, the north sat. That one is aimed at uh, AR uh, sat two. And so is this antenna. Um, they may not look like they're aimed at the same direction, but they actually are. They are two different types of antennas. This one is actually aimed directly at the satellite because it's a prime focus antenna. And this one is an offset antenna. So it looks like it's aimed a bit lower, but it's actually bouncing the signal on an angle. So two styles of antennas, but the performance is actually the same. And uh, but this guy, of course, is a lot more compact, but this is actually a military antenna. I mean, that, I don't know if any military would want to use it. I mean, it is an old antenna, but uh, I certainly like this guy. So what I've done, because it's too noisy out here to hear what's going on, I, I rigged up uh, put some RJ11 jacks on the ends of these cables. As you see, I've plugged in on two of the different lines. On So we have a line for satellite and I wired that to an ethernet connector. So I'm using an ethernet cable and we are bringing those two analog phone lines in to the house here. And I've done the same thing on this end so we can take this and plug it in here and there you go we've got phone line in the house it's gonna be a lot quieter uh doing that from inside and we need this guy we need this is the the nuclear the nuclear bunker phone <laughs> let's bring the nuclear bunker phone inside in case we have to call the, the president Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Quiet down. Okay, now I'm going to close this door and you're going to see how much quieter it is. Okay. First order of business is to call the Dateline. <laughs> I, I just love using this. It's easy to remember. 416-778-5566. Lava Life. There we go. Still very unintelligible. Okay, so we'll hang up on her and let's plug in. Okay, hold on, guys. I gotta stop a second and plug the phone in. Okay, guys, there we go. As you can see, everything is set up out there in the yard. And I've run two analog phone lines into the house through this cable here which is right here, as you can see, coming through the door. And I split that out right there, and I have the blue is line one, and the orange is line two. You telephone guys probably understand that. So what I'm gonna do is pick up this phone, and I have a dial tone. So I'm gonna call 647-812. 8701 and we're going to go 90,000 miles and can you believe it that's a 90,000 mile phone call hello hello hey hey I'm going 90,000 miles wow that's insane this is a double hop over two satellites. I'm going from here to Argentina and all the way back over two satellites. And it actually sounds pretty good. Wow. One, two, three. One. One. Wow, that, that's more than a second, eh? Let's see how much delay time that is. I'm going to bring up the clock on my computer here. So let's time it. When it hits 30, I'm going to say something. Mark. 
Oh, that's more than two seconds. Let's, let's check that again. Mark. Yeah, it took more than two seconds. More than two seconds delay to go. To go. To go where no man has gone before. <laughs> the fact that this actually works is just unbelievably cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 Let's do that again. Mark. Yeah, more than, that's about two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. But you know, you can still make it out. And I'm using G729 on one satellite and 711U on the other. Okay, guys, so there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy as it gets. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Signing off.